Time for math. <gasps> Did you hear her? She said it's time. It's time for math. It's time to work. It's our clock day, guys. We're gonna watch a new video on this awesome clock. Are you ready? And then we'll practice some more clock face stuff. Here we go, Teacher Bree's getting it all set. Like right at one minute. The clock I have hands do. I have a face just like you do. I will teach you to tell the time. So sing with me, follow my rhyme. I'm an analog clock. You'll find me hanging on the wall. It's important to learn to read me. So let's have a ball. There are 24 hours in a single day. This clock has 12 hours. Yeah, you see them on display. And it, guys, and it started teaching you about quarters. And I'm not quite ready to teach you about quarter hours because that's a little after we learn more about our awesome clock. So what that one just showed us, this little tiny one, tiny, tiny, tiny one's called the seconds. It goes tick, tick, tick really slow. And as it ticks all the way around the clock, it moves the minute hand. The minute hand moves 60 seconds. <gasps> That's one minute, 60 more seconds, two minutes. It has to keep doing that all the way. There's that five minute mark. Oh my gosh, guys, it would take so long if we actually watched a clock tick off a minute. My teachers made me do that one time. They made us stare at a clock for a minute and watch how long it actually was. Kids can't sit still that long. I'm just telling you now, I knew it. I couldn't do it then. I think I was in the fourth grade even. You guys are littler than that. So here we go. This is the second hand. That moves the minute hand. 
The minute hand moves the hour hand. So on your clocks, you guys have already learned these ones. It's so nice being back in the classroom, guys. I have flashcards. Isn't that silly? Just having flashcards to be able to work with you guys. It's so awesome. So we know that if it's pointing at the top, it's o'clock, right? That one's the o'clock one. There's no extra minutes. So we know that this one's just pointing to one o'clock. If it was on a digital, it would look like this. So today I'm gonna show you one of these and you're gonna write on your clocks and show me. Are you ready? What would that look like on a clock? Can you show me that one? Sergio, can you draw your clock for me? I see Achilles clock, I see Sergio's clock. Gio, you got yours out? Max, Anna, Jasvir, can't quite see you guys, but we'll see if you can find your clocks. Oh, there it is. Achilles has a 10. Sergio, can you show me 10 o'clock? Show me 10 o'clock, because that's what that one says. Gio, did you show me? Are you ready for another one? Let's see if we were right. Does everybody's look like this? Yes, 10 o'clock. Good job. Sergio, are you ready for another one? Okay, wipe that one off. Okay, guys, let's see. If I showed you, how about this one? What would that look like? It, in the words on the bottom, it says two o'clock. We know that o'clock's at the top. Two o'clock. Good job, Achilles. Yes, Sergio, good job. G, can I see yours? It would look like this, sweetie. Draw your hands on. <laughs> Sarah's lucky to know you get lunch from the union. Two o'clock. <laughs> good job. Okay, guys. Now, let's practice something else. We've learned that counting by fives all the way around, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, this is our halfway mark. Let's do some pointing at six ones, which is our 30, our halfway, okay? So we're gonna put our minute hand at the 30. And this one would be pointing at, oh, it's not quite to one, guys. So that makes it, you go back to that number, 1230. I'm going to show you on some flashcards, too. What would this one say, guys? It's between the seven and the eight. We go back to the seven because it's not quite to the eight. And that shows us that it is 730. Good job. Look at this. This is what it would look like on your digital clock. 7.30. Yes. Good job, Achilles. I see you. Awesome. That's right. It looks just like that. 7.30. Okay, guys. Here comes another one. What would 10.30 look like? 10.30. We know our minute hand stays on the 30, but our hour hand, for me, I have to go like this all the way around the clock, guys, go around the clock, around the clock. I have to make it pretend like we're speeding through time. Speed through time, because I gotta make it go faster, faster, faster. It's still gotta go all the way around clockwise. It still has to move all the way to that hour that I said. What did I say I said? Nope, that's only eight o'clock. Keep going, Cassandra. Wait, we're almost there. That's 10 o'clock. We need one more half hour. Half hour more. It is 10.30. I made a match. Look at that, guys. 10.30. It's between the 10 and the 11 because that hour hand is moving closer to the 11. As this goes around the clock, watch, guys. If I move it, what's the next hour going to be? Look at this, you guys. <gasps> It says 11. We moved it a half hour and now it's 11. So let's go ahead and go another half hour. Oh, let's make it 11.30. Look at that guys, 11.30. It's pointing at that six.
Good job, Sergio. I see you drawn on that clock. What about, let's do one more guys on our flashcards. What about here? What does that one say? It looks like it's pointing between the four and the five. Between the four and the five. So that would make it 4.30. Yes, 4.30. That could be 4.30 in the morning. Oh, that's dark and way too early for you guys to be awake. Or it could be 4.30 at night, which is the perfect time to start getting ready for dinner. Start cooking, cleaning all that fun stuff that your parents do for you, right? What about at 5.30? What do you get to do at 5.30? Start making huh. Some people said start making dinner now. My house, they like to eat early. I think it's because they're all old. Old people like to eat early. <laughs> so, 5.30 would look like between the five and the six, guys. You are doing so great. That is exactly right. So real quick with me before we get ready for yoga, cause today I get to do yoga with you and I'm gonna copy Miss Debbie and we're gonna get on the floor cause I'm so excited that I love to do floor yoga with you. So before we do that, I want everybody to get your arms ready and we're gonna stretch out and do our arms on our clock. So if your arms were straight up, both of them were straight up, where would they be? It would be at 12. It would be at the very top of our clock. Right, guys? This would be 12 o'clock. And then we would move around the clock. We would have a 1 o'clock, uh, 2 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock. Wait, I think I look like 9. Wait, 1, 2, 3. You guys, I was going backwards and you didn't even yell at me. Look at that. Now I'm at 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Right. I'm on the wrong side now. See, I'm, I'm completely backwards. You guys, I just am being silly. I just have to stand right over here. I'm going to get...